Hi guys, I'm Mary Margaret. I'm the Outreach Archivist here in the University Archives at Norwich and today I'm just here to give you a brief overview of what archives are and how they work so that you can use them for your research with primary sources. So an archives is an institution that's similar to a library but the key difference is that instead of having books and periodicals that have been published um, archives typically have unpublished materials that are unique primary sources you're not going to find anywhere else um, in another library. So these are things like letters, diaries, manuscripts, and photographs. Um, so there are two main things that I'd like you to remember today um, about archives. Uh, the first thing is that their collections are almost always non-circulating. So that means that you can't check them out with a library card and you can't order them through interlibrary loan. Um, this makes things a little tricky, but it's not impossible to get copies of things. Um, archivists are happy to work with you, and if you read the rest of this libguide, we'll tell you all about how to do that. Um, so the, number one, collections are non-circulating. The second thing I want you to remember is that archives are organized differently from libraries. So in a library, you'll typically have books organized um, by subject um, in a system like the Dewey Decimal System. And in archives, instead of organizing by subject, we organize by creator. So we group our manuscript collections according to the person or the organization that created the records. Um, and we do this because we find that historical records have the most value and are the most interesting when they not only can tell you the facts, but they also can demonstrate the context in which the materials were created. Um, so here's an example of that. Um, here in the University Archives at Norwich, um, one of our most important collections is the papers of our founder, Alden Partridge. And this consists of letters, manuscripts, essays, um, teaching materials, a lot of different stuff that he wrote or received over the course of his life. And this covers a lot of different subjects. He writes about philosophy and education and the military and daily life in the 1800s. And if those were all different books, they would all be in different parts of the library, just scattered throughout because they have different subjects. Um, but in the archives, because Alden Partridge is the creator of those records, we keep them all together in a unit as a collection. Um, and another thing that's unique about how archives are organized is that we would catalog that entire collection as a unit rather than cataloging each individual document because um, there are thousands and thousands of them. Um, so that's a little introduction to how archives work. I hope you'll remember that the collections don't circulate and that they're organized in a unique way that's different from libraries. Good luck with your research.